Hi there, and welcome to High School Sports Zone. On this week's show, we'll be talking with some of the best athletes in the city, and joining us to start the program is Bren Hunter. Bren, welcome to the show. Welcome, thank you for having me. So you're a student at South Carleton. You're also a member of the Team Canada Karate team. How's the season going for you with uh, the karate? It's a very good season so far. I actually just got back uh, not too long ago in October of 2015 from the World Championships. There was one in Spain and one in Florida, so I got a gold medal. This one right here is from uh, Spain and also a silver and bronze medal in the Orlando Championships. So just talk about your World Championship experience as a whole. It must be cool to be able to see some of the best athletes in your sport. It is, it is. Um, obviously, I like to think of myself as a good athlete, but the thing about karate is there's so many different aspects that you can, you can be amazing at and you can always have somebody to follow um, and look up to on a certain aspects of karate. So it's, it's a very, very good sport to try. So you mentioned that the different aspects, there's a number of different things that you do, different uh, disciplines that you yes. participate in. Can you talk and share about some, uh, some of those? Sure, sure. So what I usually do is I do a lot with a weapon, which is called a bow staff. It's basically just a long a stick that you could use for fighting. Um, it's, it's traditionally used for fighting, um, but now you can, what we do with it is we do some things that I like to call katas, or their forms, routines. You can do that to music, you can do fancy tricks with the weapon, you can do basic strikes, there's all the way from traditional uh, weapons to musical weapons where you put music in the background, synchronize, lots of the different aspects of that. It, it really makes it a dramatic performance altogether. It's pretty cool. Like yes. I didn't know that that was something that was in it when I first was doing research for it. Very, very cool. So Thank you. how did you get into this in the first place? When I was um, about four years old, I would say, I joined karate and my grandparents actually signed me up. It was just more of something to do because I, at that point I hadn't been into hockey yet or any other sports. Um, so I decided to give it a try. When I was about five or six, I found that it, it got a little boring because I was a little kid and I, I didn't know if I liked it for sure. So then something clicked in me when I was about seven or eight years old and I said, I want to go back, but this time I want to learn competitively. I want to travel the world. I want to be the best at the sport that I can be. And so that's what I did. You mentioned that moment that it clicked. Like, do you remember what it was that really triggered you to, to push yourself to go further? I think actually we were we were watching a um, a show on TV. It may have actually been the Olympics or something something of that nature. And it was um, there were there were people on there. They weren't doing what I do now, but they were doing judo or a similar sport to that. And it, it just really interested me on what they were doing. So I went and learned that, and then I learned, it's, karate is sort of a different discipline than other martial arts. They all sort of have their, their differences, but altogether, it's martial arts as a whole. So what uh, specifically about karate attracted you to that, considering there were other martial arts that you were interested in? I just tried karate again because that's what I started out with when I was four or five years old. I started out with that, and when I went back to my club, uh, when I was when I rejoined the program, um, it was it was very interesting to join uh, to see what I was doing before could be done much better plus more. It was the the tricks that really got me into that and looking at everything that I could do and it's amazing. You mentioned your club. How do they help you become a better athlete? I think uh, karate isn't just 100% completely about the competing. It's also about the discipline, the motivation, the self-respect, all that, um, and being a good sport in, in karate. So I think that as you go to the club that I go to, they teach me all of those skills that aren't only for karate, but also for life. And it's, it's a really good skill to have, the skills to have. So I mentioned off the top that you were a member of Team Canada. How did that opportunity first come up? When I was in, I believe it was the year of 2009, and I, I decided that I'd been doing some research and there were a few people in my karate club who had joined this team where they travel to different countries. And I really, I did some more research about that. I found out, wow, so you don't need any special requirements to try out for this team. You can be anybody, anywhere. So I tried out for the team and I, uh, 
I made an event and I went to the Worlds in 2009. So and first year you try out, you go to the Worlds already? Yes, yes. Hey, that's quite the accomplishment. Thank you. So you mentioned that you, you like traveling, you've been to a number of different places. Have Has it. there been a, a trip or something that you've taken through karate that's been your favorite so far? I think um, all of them are, are really good. I've been to a lot of, I think some of the favorites are some exotic countries. I've been to um, Spain, Scotland, Germany, um, obviously the United States, uh, Greece, England, many more countries. Yeah, I just want to take a step back to Team Canada for a second. We were yeah. talking before and you said that on Team Canada there's people from the age of 10 to 50 and I think that that's really cool and like emblematic of the sport. What's it like being on a team with such a vast age range of people? It, it's, it's really a great experience. You get to meet people and understand their perspectives and their different ways of karate, I guess. The, how they present themselves, how they differ and are similar to people of 10 year old age and 50 year old age, you get to see. And it, it doesn't even stop at 50. There are people who I've known who have been in their 60s that are go right through that and keep competing worldwide. It's, it's really good for your, um, it, it's good exercise, but it's also good for your, your mental aspect of, it's good for your brain to keep doing all that karate. So do you think you'll be still there when you're 60 and 70 and pushing on forward? I would like to hope so, yes. yes. Maybe not as competitively, <laughs> because I don't know if a 70-year-old will be able to do that. Maybe they can. Well, but we will see, I guess. Exactly. Uh, you've mentioned that you've taken a lot of travel, but that must be pretty expensive. How do you, uh, you know, fundraise or do different things to be able to afford to go on so many trips? Well, a common fundraiser that we usually do is we go into grocery stores and we sell raffle tickets. So we go around to stores and retailers first and we get gift cards from them and put together a big gift basket that we then raffle off at... Um, so all the, the gifts that are in there have been donated by local... Uh, stores and retailers places so then we raffle that off in uh, grocery stores and people buy that that must be a good help too but you wouldn't be able to do a lot of this without your parents how are they helpful oh, in getting this? my parents together? of course are the most helpful they're the ones who are actually paying the real money it's karate is very expensive um, if you just want to join non-competitively it's not that expensive but when you start going around the world it's very expensive um, my parents have to pay for flights, they have to pay for hotels, they have to pay for transportation, everything. And plus all the karate divisions. So it's a good $10,000 a trip. So with the season, you've, you've had Worlds this year, what are some of the other goals you have for this season and going forward? Going forward, um, I am in grade 12 now, so I'd like to focus on also uh, university, getting into uh, business programs is what I'm looking at in the future. Um, but I'd also like to continue my karate at a competitive level. Um, I do 13 to 15 tournaments a year. Maybe it's a, it's a very good opportunity and it's something to always have with me when I need somewhere to go. It, it, karate is like an escape also, so it's a great thing to have. Well, you're a busy guy going to all these tournaments, yes. so I appreciate you making some time to come in and chat with oh, us. Oh, thank you very much. That was Bren Hunter, a student at South Carlton, also a member of the Team Canada Karate Team. And we'll be back after the break here on High School Sports Center.